looking at descriptive statistics for paired data or chapter 7. So this is section 2 from that chapter. Starting out, when you think about paired data, remember that we have a pair of measurements from one person or unit or subject, whatever your group of interest is. Here we have information on the student's TV and computer time, so those pairs of measurements. So what we're going to be doing is calculating a difference for each student. So when you start with this type of data, the first thing that you have to do is decide on the direction of subtraction. It tends to be beneficial to work with the majority of positive numbers. So if you can identify which of the two measurements would be larger most often, that would be what you want to subtract from. So for this data, we have computer and TV time. It's suspected that computer time will be more. So our difference subtraction is going to be computer minus TV. That choice is up to you. It is not incorrect if you were to have done to TV minus computer, but it benefits you to have mostly positive numbers. So that's the logic behind calculating differences. You'd like to deal with positive values more often. So if you can clearly identify which group is going to be or which variable will be larger, that's the one you'll want to subtract from. So here we have for student 1, 30 minus 2, that gave us the difference of 28. Student 2 is 20 minus 1.5, that gave us the difference of 18.5. Student 3, we have 10 minus 14, so that difference is negative 4, etc. So if we move down to student 21, we have 21 minus 35, so we have a difference of negative 14. Student 22 has a difference of 1. Student 23 has a difference of 5. Student 24 has a difference of 14. And then finally, student 25 has a difference of 7. So for these problems, even though you're calculating the differences, direction does matter. So you'll notice that we have these measurements that are negative, which indicates that for the students highlighted, their TV time is more than their computer time. And that's valuable information for us because we both want to know the difference, but also who is spending more time watching TV or who is spending more time on their computer. So negative differences indicate that TV time is more, positive differences indicate that computer time is more. When you calculate the mean and standard deviation, would use the same process that you did for one quantitative variable. So remember we talked about how paired data or differences actually is the same calculation as one quantitative variable. It's just in this context, it's average difference instead of just average. So because of that, we can use the stat function on our calculator. Then we will go into edit. And within edit, we enter all of the differences as they're seen. So that very last column, so you can see 28, 18.5, negative 4, etc. Then you go back to stat, but this time move to the calc tab. And within the calc tab, you would choose one variable stat. And you'll notice that the numeric summary show up. So we have x bar. And that, even though notation wise, it's more correct to have x bar sub d or d bar. The calculator doesn't know it's a difference calculation, so it uses the notation x bar, but that is the value we're looking for. So x bar sub d and s sub d will be represented by x bar and s sub x in the calculator. So just like the numeric summaries are the same, it's the same type of graphical displays too for paired data. So here we have a box plot of the differences that we just calculated. Again, it's a quantitative value, and so we can use box plots or histograms or stem and leaf plots. And then we'll just be graphing the differences. So that one quantitative measurement differences between here, computer, and TV time. So when you look at this, it appears that the median is slightly above zero, which seems to be indicating that there is a difference in TV and computer time. And since it's positive and our differences were calculated t computer minus TV, it seems to be indicating that students on average are spending more time on their computer than on their TVs because we have a positive difference 
and because of the direction of subtraction. So these are the descriptive statistics for paired data. Soon we'll start to look at how to perform inferences for this type of data. <laughs>